let's get this party started. Let's get this party started. Oh, hang on. I gotta make this small. It's weird. There we go. Oh, Diane, you're the first one here from Florida. Good morning. Well, afternoon for you, right? It's afternoon for you. Let's see. Might just be you and me, girl. Oh, there's Corinna. Hello, Corinna. Hello. Hi, Donna, New York. Hi, Dolores on Facebook. Good morning. Hi, Stephanie in Indiana. Hi, Andy. Hi, Kimberly. Hi, Deborah. There we go. Now everybody's jumping on. I like it. Hi, Francine. Hi, Wendy. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, Shirley, my love. Hi, Gloria. Um, hi, Dolores. Hello. Hi, Jeannie in Iowa. Hi, Bonnie. Hi, Russ. Hello, hello. Hi, Linda. Hi, Trina. Um, Kimberly says, hello from a rainy, cool Pennsylvania. I haven't been outside yet today, so I don't know what it's like out today. I think it's kind of overcast. I'm not sure. Hi, Debbie. Hello. Hi, Teresa in Idaho. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Darlene in rainy Portland, she said. Ooh. Hi, Barbara in Oregon. Oh, Corinna, thank you. Yeah, I'll see him late tonight. Well, Kendall usually gets home around six or seven, so thank you. You're so sweet. Hi, Debbie. Um, she said, missed you last week. Hope all is well. Doing much better. Thank you. Hi, Gloria in Wisconsin. Oh, Shirley said she's recovering from COVID and bronchitis. Ugh. Yuck. Yuck. Sorry, my friend. Hi, Kimberly. She said, Florida is a beautiful day today. Oh, lucky you. Hi, Lee in South Carolina. Hi, Debbie in Pico Rivera. Not too far away from us. She said, it's going to be hot today. Okay. Well, I haven't been outside yet, so I don't know. Hi, Barbara in California. Um, Carmen said, I hope you and um, got some well-deserved rest. I, I think we did. I think we did. Hi, Mary Lynn in Ohio. She said she couldn't find us. Oh, you know what, Mary Lynn? You didn't miss much because I just started. Um, finally able to join you. Yay. Hi, Frank and Sharon in the cloudy Indiana. Well, you guys are traveling fools, aren't you? I love it. Um, Corinna says, uh, I need major prayers. One of my best friends was diagnosed with stage four ovarian cancer last year and isn't doing well. Oh, Corinna, hang on. I got to write this down. Oh, my love. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, mm. Uh, Carlon says, our baby boy got married this weekend, last of four children, now to work on homework for the upcoming class. Yes, the upcoming class is coming up uh, next week. We still have a few more. Um, we ordered extra of this class because we knew it was going to be popular. So we have a few more of the class if you want to jump in on that um, ASAP. Oh, in, in San Bernardino, it's going to be 98. That is hot. That is hot. Hi, Polly. Hello. Um, Shirley says she's just waiting on her kit. I, you should be getting it soon. Um, Karina says I need to do my homework. I love this kind of homework. I know. Isn't it fun? Hi, Bear Blue. I haven't seen you in a while, my love. Um, she's in her new home in Missouri. She's been there two weeks. Hi, Belinda. Hi, Kathy. Hi, uh, Margaret in Ohio. Hi, Lolly. Let's see. Oh, uh, Frank and Sharon says, oh, I already said hi. See, Facebook is so weird. It's so much harder. Hi, Christine. Hello. Um, hi, Jean in Tennessee. She says it's rainy. Hi, Ellen Cuts Paper. She says, hello, Stephanie and lifers. I know you guys, seriously, you guys are really like the lifers because it's like you guys like tune in on Monday and you know, it's just chit chat. Those of you that are new to our No Makeup Mondays, we just visit and chat. So we do talk a little bit about crafting, um, not so much very much, because if you want to do card making, that's going to be our Thursday live crafting corner um, at 5 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Eastern on our Facebook channel and YouTube. But our No Makeup Mondays are just where we kind of get together, catch up with each other, get prayer requests. Um, I talk about what I've been up to, what I'm working on and um, things like that. So uh, they always beg for sneak peeks on Monday, uh, Corinna says. Uh, let's see. Um, Diane says, prayers for my hubby. My husband finds a new job. He was laid off on Friday. Oh, Diane, I'm so sorry. Oh, oh well, I hope he finds something even better than he had before. Better than he had before. Hi, Rhoda in Texas. 68 degrees. That sounds nice. Hi, so much glitter. Good morning from San Diego. Uh, welcome back. Thank you. Thank you. So 
Uh, last week, as most of you know, hi, Lori. Last week, as most of you know, Ken took me on a little, um, I guess you could call it a little getaway. Um, we needed to get away. <laughs> um, I'm doing much better. Uh, you know, we still work in the mornings. Um, whenever we go out, we always work in the mornings. Um, Kathy says, do you know when there will be large size adhesive sheets back in stock? I know, right? I actually just sent an email to the manufacturer today saying, where are they? <laughs> so hopefully I will get more information soon. Um, I just sent them an email. Uh, so yes, Ken and I went on a little, um, get away. We, we always work in the, we always work in the morning and then we take the afternoons off to explore. And, um, it helped a lot. It really did. Um, and those of you that know, um, Debbie says, were there any extra embellishments for this card kit this month? There were, and they flew out the door pretty quickly. Um, except the paper pad, we ordered tons of the paper pad. Um, so yeah, they're, they are kind of, um, they sold out really fast. Uh, so yeah, I was just kind of getting a little, uh, I was getting a little down, you know, those of you that have said goodbye to a pet know that, um, it's a process. The grief, the grief situation is a process and, it was just to the point where, oh, speaking, speak of dogs, uh, Lemon is here. Come here, Lem. Come here. Come here so we can say hi. My parents are on vacation. Come here. So I do have that distraction today, which is, um, which is nice. But so, yeah, I just needed kind of a little break from every day being around here looking for cookie because, you know, every time, you know, those of you that have said goodbye to a pet, you know, it just takes a while and I, I am doing better. Um, I wasn't doing horrible. I don't want to say that. Um, but I just needed a change of scenery for a little while. So um, Ken said, let's go. So I said, okay. <laughs> so um, Karina says, it's a real change in your routine. So it's constantly on your mind. Isn't that the truth? Isn't that the truth? It really is. Uh, Deborah says, how are the boys doing about cookie? Okay. So Deborah, isn't that funny? Listen to this. So we didn't tell the boys we just wanted to wait until the topic came up because they they were never really like cookie, 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 cookie like that. So um, she, they were just kind of like, and then, you know, and then they we were gone a week. So the first couple of days they didn't even ask because they were, we were so busy. They didn't even think about it. And then, cause she was always just in the background for them. Right. They were never like, you know, Oh, let's play fetch. Cause cookie didn't play fetch. So, Lemon was here because we got Lemon Friday night. So they came over on Saturday and Miller kind of looked around and he was getting kisses from Lemon because he loves kisses from the dogs. And he goes, he looks around, and he goes, what happened to Cookie? <laughs> and I said, did anyone tell you? Because he asked it such a weird way. And uh, I said, did and he goes, no. And I said, well, Cookie, Cookie died. Cookie went to heaven. Um, cookie's no longer with us. And he said, Oh, and he was, that's it. Liam, I don't think has noticed yet. Liam wasn't in the room when, um, when we talked about it briefly, <laughs> which is good. You know, I don't want it to affect them that much. You know, they're so young. They're three, only three and a half still. And so they're still young. And it was funny though. Uh, I met Kirsten when she was walking over in the stroller on Saturday, as a matter of fact, and I was walking with lemon and Miller looked at lemon and lemons walking like this. Cause she shakes her butt when she walks and she's a Corgi, if you don't know. And Miller said, I like dogs, but I don't like lemon. She's too big and she doesn't have a tail. Yeah, she's pretty big. She's fat. She's very fat not obese, but she's fat and very thick. And you are correct, Miller. She does not have a tail. So it was pretty funny. We laughed. Um, but it, it was, it was nice to, um, it's nice to have lemon. Although she woke me up at two 30 and I was awake from two 30 until about four 30 this morning. Cause Ken's gone, you know, Ken leaves around one in the morning. And so we have very weird schedules around my house. And so, uh, uh, we, we uh, Corgi, uh, Corgi, Lemon and I were up and Lemon is so big and heavy. She's just stocky. She's just, she's not fat. She's just 
built big. And she would lean against our bed and like lay down and it would shake the bed. And I'm telling you, she must have done that 40 times. I don't know. Not really. But it was crazy. It was crazy. Um, Mary Lynn says, how is your dad doing about cookie? He's doing okay. Um, the first day he came over after um, it happened, after we let her go, um, he was he was really torn up. Uh, he always felt like Cookie was his dog too, which she was because when we, when we didn't have a place to live and we lived at an Airbnb for three months, uh, she, she lived with my parents cause we weren't allowed to have dogs. So, uh, she lived with my parents for three and a half months, a couple years ago. So it's just pretty crazy. Um, corgis are stocky dogs, dogs, just genetics. Yeah, it was it was, it was really, yeah, it was funny. So, uh, yeah, they have the peach butt. Macarena says, yes, they do. They do. Uh, so yeah, lemon's here and she will be here until not tomorrow, but next Tuesday. So I will be very active with lemon, which is good. It's a good distraction. And, uh, yeah. Do I think I'm going to get another dog anytime soon? No, I still need to heal and, and stuff, but, uh, on our trip, I was, I was watching old videos of cookie and that was fun. That was fun. Cause I was like, Oh yeah, I forgot she did that. Or, Oh, that was funny. Or, you know, things like that. So, uh, it was good memories, good memories. And let me tell you that dog lived a good 13 and a half years. <laughs> so yeah. Um, let's see. Uh, my nephew, Deborah says my nephew has a Corgi that breeded with a Husky. Their puppy is different looking. Oh, I bet. I bet. Oh, that's funny. Uh, yeah. So I have my good days and bad days. Mostly good now. Mostly better. Better. Uh, but you guys know. I mean, we've all. I mean, probably ninety nine percent of us have had to say goodbye to a pet, a loved pet. And so, uh, yeah, yeah, we're hanging in there. I have all my teddy bears. I know I showed you guys my teddy bears. These are for the um, shoe boxes for Samaritan's Purse for um, for Christmas, the Christmas um, guys, but I literally, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There are nine in here <laughs> on my desk. And I just keep staring at them. And Ken's like, you're not keeping them. And I said, I know I'm not keeping them, but oh, they're just so dang cute. Uh, the funny thing is, is when we were, were gone, Katie needed to come over and use some dyes for, Katie teaches every other week at her church for the four-year-olds. And she had to do a lesson. And so she used, it was when um, the woman anointed Jesus's feet with the oil. And so she used the Jesus word die uh, fold it. And she had the kids glue down the letters. And then they used epoxy dots on the word Jesus to represent the oil, which uh, whose idea was that? Because that's a really good idea. Oh, yeah, that's right. It was mine. <laughs> But she calls me on FaceTime and she's like, Seth, I need an idea. This is the story. I need an idea. I need an idea. And I'm like, uh, uh, how about this? And that's what she did. So I heard it went well. So I haven't seen Kate yet. Um, well, I'm, she's coming over later today. Uh, Belinda says, we said we would never get another one. And now we have three. Uh, wow. <laughs> uh, Kathy says, God bless you for giving to into Samaritan's purse. I love them. We love them too. We do too. It's fun. I I'll be honest when I pack those shoe boxes, um, I do the girls and Ken does the boys. And, um, when we do them, I think he and I get more excitement out of it than probably the children do when they get them just because it's so exciting to pack those boxes and I always try to make mine better than his and we like have this competition and so um although I've done all the purchasing this year so far so uh but we're, they're doing good um let's see Corinna says I slept with the stuffed animal for the first two weeks when Bella passed away okay Corinna I'll be honest I almost took one of the bears with me because you know this one is just so cuddly and cute and I almost took this one with me, but then I knew he would be sad because he would miss all his brothers and sisters. So I didn't, but I kind of wanted to because he's so cute. Um, but these were really cheap on Amazon, by the way. And they're on my Amazon's favorite list, but they were really cheap and they are freakishly soft. So I'm happy about them. Um, let's see. Hi, Debbie and Reno. Um, wish you were going to be at the Ontario for Stamp and Scrapbook Expo. Yeah, Debbie, I know. It's a bummer. It's a bummer. But um, 
the thing about being in business is if you make a decision about the business, you have to like not lose money when you do it. <laughs> it sucks. <laughs> and uh, that it just didn't work out last year. So maybe in a year or two. Um, Francine says, what are the parameters for the shoebox? Uh, it pretty much no food. I know that um, there's special rules. I'm sure Samaritan's Purse has information on their website, but it's um, our church does it every year. So we just give them to the church and they send them off. But it has to do with um, like you pick the age group and if you pick boy or girl and there's no food, no like fake guns or weird things like that in there. Uh, and we just felt like we put in, um, like I always like to put in pencils and scissors and pens and a little pencil bag. And I always do a toothbrush and toothpaste. And I know that's the mom and me. And then like, we're going to have a stuffed animal. I have a couple other things just for fun. I'll show you just cause it's a really good cause. Hang on. I have to walk around here for a second. Oh, uh, let's see. Oh. Uh, this. So there's a ton of things that I, of course I get almost everything on Amazon just because it's so easy, but like I got these little markers with these little notepads. I haven't even opened them yet. I got these little, um, little soccer, little, what are these called? These are called the, they're like hacky sacks, I guess. I don't know. They're kind of heavy. Um, then I got little coin purses for the little girls. Uh, got some more funny looking markers. I, a good place to go is a uh, party favor section because they have like little cheapy things that are fun. Then I got some, I don't know what this is. I haven't even opened these, you guys. Um, this is little cars. I think these are little cars that, um, oops, hang on. Open them. Oh, there's a purple one. But they're the cars that they're like matchbox, but either they go like that. And then um, hang on. You, ooh, ooh, the boys have some of these. So you pull them back and then, ooh, and then they go. <laughs> so I got a whole bunch of those. What else did I get? I don't know. This is fun. This is I'm telling you guys, this is like more fun for me than Christmas morning just because I love the cat. Oh, these are eggs. I didn't know they came in eggs, which is kind of funny. But inside our little um, uh, Lego, not Lego blocks, because they're not legit, but they are, Lego must have lost their patent, but um, they're little fake Lego blocks with little instructions on how to make little cars and stuff. Those are for the boys, not my boys, but the boy boxes. And then one other thing so far is smaller stuffed animals. Oh, these are little. Ooh, that's one thing about on on Amazon. You never know how little things are or big because I don't pay. I don't read the directions. But oh, look how cute these little guys are! Just little cute little guys. So um, oh, this reminds me. So the other day we were talking about with the babies. I was talking with Miller and Liam about um. Oh, I had little. I bought them little Halloween paper plates, and one was a black and white candy paper plate for Halloween, and we were eating dinner. And he said, this is black and white. And I was wearing my black and white striped shirt. And he goes, it matches your shirt. And I said, oh, it does. And I said, what animals are black and white? And Miller said, uh, a cow. And I said, oh, yeah, you're right. Okay, a cow. And he said, Dalmatians. I said, oh, yeah, you're right, Dalmatians. And then, oh, my gosh, he said one other one. And I'm like, well, what about the horse one? It looks like a horse, but it has black and white stripes. And they didn't know. And I said, zebra and zebra. And then they said one other one. And it was so dang cute. Oh, gosh, I can't remember. I'll think of it later. But, um, oh, so much glitter says Hobby Lobby is a great place for packing shoe boxes. I'll have to go look. Ooh. Oh, and then on the shoe boxes, we always buy the plastic Rubbermaid one. So it's not just a box. It's like actually a plastic Rubbermaid box. So I don't know. Um, Kathy says, I haven't seen any Yorkies. Certainly no teacup dogs of any kind, but I keep looking. Oh, you must be talking to somebody. Um. Uh, uh, Kathy says, oh, thanks. I didn't know they had removed toothpaste. They removed toothpaste? Uh-oh. Uh, wow. Okay. Yes, there is. Um, Ken usually goes and, um, 
They ask for things, toothbrush, toothpaste. Okay, but somebody says they took out toothpaste. I'll have to go look. Yeah, because sometimes, um, yeah, it, it's, uh, I was told no toothpaste this year and some other changes. So please, okay, so I will go check out what the rules are. Yeah, because I didn't know one year, I thought they were allowing hard candy one year. And so I put in a whole bunch of little pieces of hard candy and Ken went and worked at, with his group, um, his high school group with the, uh, um, with the distribution center where they open up the boxes and make sure some weird people didn't put any weird things in there. And if it wasn't like a nice enough box, they would add extra items to it. And uh, they had to take out all the hard candy, any food they had to take out. So uh, I knew that, but I'll have to check that. Miller didn't come up with the skunk. He did not. They did not say skunk. I forgot about skunk. You guys, how many black and white animals are there? That is so amazing. Isn't that funny? Um, uh, Shirley says, will your new home be a permanent place or another rental? It will be a rental. It will be a rental. Um, okay, you guys. So I got um, some beautiful cards. I'm sure there's a lot of cards. Ken didn't go to the office last week. I'm sure there's cards at the office I haven't um, gotten yet. Um, so if you were sweet and you got your cards in really fast, um, that's pretty impressive. Um, oh, Cheryl sent this one from our design team. And I'm looking at this going, what? Because I didn't know who made this first. I'm like, wait, what? What? Um, that's a sneak peek. So I'll show you that one last. Uh, there is still one cookie item coming out. Um, and then we will uh, no longer come out with the cookie image um, just because. But uh, I got a lot of amazing cards. I got this one um, from Valerie, uh, which is cute because it has a little cookie on there. I'm so sorry, um, which is really cute. Purple and pink, my favorite colors. And uh, she says, praying for God to wrap his arms around you and give you peace and comfort. Love, Valerie. That was sweet. Um, and then, hang on. I might be the only two cookie ones I got so far. Oh, hang on. Some I haven't opened, which is kind of crazy because they got here and then we, Ken said, okay, we're leaving. Uh, okay, hang on. Uh, okay, so that's not a cookie one, but I'll show it to you in just a second. Uh, that's not a cookie one. Hang on. I'm just making sure I'm not okay. So here's another cookie one. This is a sneak peek, but it's not going to give very much away because trust me, it's not. Um, Dawn, the homework should be coming out tomorrow. Yes. Uh, yeah, Shirley says I didn't want to. Pandas, that's what it was. Pandas, Rhoda. Thank you, pandas. Um, so here's a, a cookie uh, sneak peek. So this is the last cookie item that will be coming out. It is coming out in November. Uh, so I'm not going to really show it to you yet because, but Cheryl is on our design team. So she already had it. So, um, that was a very sweet card. And then I got some, um, belated birthday cards. Um, uh, let's see. Oh, oh, this is for my mom. This is, oh, my mom freaked out when she saw this one. Tammy made this one for my mom and my mom freaked out because it's the, um, it's the shutter card one. And my mom's like, how'd she do that? How'd you do that? She's opening and closing it. I'm like, mom, it's one of my products. It's one of my dyes. She goes, you made this? I'm like, well, I didn't make that card, but I made the dyes that made that card. And she was like, whoa, that's cool. Whoa, that's cool. So Tammy, thank you. You, um, She says she's a diehard member. So you wowed my mother, which, uh, you know, is kind of easy to do sometimes, but kind of not. Um, this one is, sh uh, oh, this one, Sharon. Sharon is so sweet. She sent this to Ken for Happy Customer Service Appreciation Week, the first week of October. And she wrote a lovely note. I'm going to put this on his door, on his desk as soon as I put it down. But isn't that gorgeous? She wrote a nice long note. Uh, so this was for Customer Service Appreciation Week. How sweet. Oh, by the way, card kits are going out today. We have to talk about card kits because, right? Okay, so I'm putting that one on Ken's desk. Thank you, Sharon. That was sweet. This one, oh, this one's another one for my mom. And my mom really loved this. I don't know if I sent this one yet, but um, who made this one? Uh, who's this from? Who's this from? Uh, where does it say? Oh, it doesn't say. Maybe it had an envelope. Oh, Gail. I'm sorry. Gail made this one. Love and good wishes, Gail. 80 years young. And somebody's got to send me this because I like this. It's like, it sits like a little box. So I could make that my own somehow. So somebody's got to. Oh, and then look, wait, oh, does it, oh, it holds, it folds like this. There we go. 
So it's like a double, triple box, which is really cute. So that is awesome. And then you can see on the inside. So we're going to have to look into that because that is really cute. Thank you, Gail. Um, then this one is from Terry. And she says, you're Clawsome. Thank you for having an amazing company that allows me to make cards like this one. You both mean a lot to me. Hugs, Terry. Oh my gosh, that's so sweet. And this is for Ken and Stephanie. And I love seeing this. I know another person did this too. Having the, the your freebie dies on the back, the 2023 and the 2023 on this one. So, yep, that's awesome. I love it. Thank you. Uh, so much glitter says card... Car Card kit shipment notification made my Monday, first thing this morning. Yay! Cra uh, Crafty Chris says, hello from Massachusetts, listening at work. Yay! Surely it does look like a never-ending card, but it's not. It's different. Um, which I hope you like never-ending cards because, hmm. <laughs> okay. Here's one that is stunningly beautiful. This is by Sharon. Oh, this is probably for me for Customer Service Appreciation Week. She's awesome. But look at that background, you guys. Sharon, if you're watching, I really, 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 really hope you put this in the gallery. And if she's not watching, somebody's got to tell her. Oh, Jennifer says the homework is on the website. Yay, no one told me yet. Okay, but look at how cute that is. I Hi, Kelly. Hello. She says she's in Mississippi visiting her daughter for the month. Um, isn't this gorgeous, you guys? Oh my goodness. I love how it's so subtle. It's so beautiful. So Sharon made this one. Oh, and she used, I love how she did this. She, can you see it? There it is. It's the dye 2023, but it's in the same color. There it is. Isn't that gorgeous? It looks like it's embossed. Beautiful. Thank you, Sharon. And oh, one of them, I think one of them had this on it. I think it was the gatefold one that had this shutter card in it. Sorry, I forgot. Now, if I didn't show yours, more coming next week. They're not here, but more coming next week. But I need to show you the magic. Look at this, you guys. This is still on flash sale because I forgot to turn it off. So it'll be on flash sale for one more hour. One more hour. And look at that. So I taught this at an event for um, Scrapbook Cards and Today Magazine. And so now we're offering it on our website. And first of all, look at that glitter paper, by the way. Oh, but we have a whole, but it comes with the whole, I mean, it's, it's lots of stamps, a flip it and the paper. Look at this. That's the stamps. Isn't that gorgeous? Michelle made that one. So beautiful. Um, I hope you got these, all of these products. The new products are on a uh, flash sale. Um, yes, we will be making more dies. Oh, Ponzi wants to know, will you be making more dies that go in here? Yes. Yes, we will. Probably not going to come out until the first of the year-ish. But yes, they will. Yes, yes, yes. Um, and also the cool thing about the stamp set is it also had a stamp set that goes, a, a thing that goes around it like that, which is fun. Um, here's the Mary without glitter paper. Love it. Isn't that gorgeous? And so, oh, there's that stamp again on the label. So if you didn't get this last chance, last call, one more hour, it's going to be on sale Flash sale, there's that background to get that stamp set again. Um, last, last, last call. One more hour, and then I'm turning it off. Merry Christmas. Also, um, did you guys see the card kit? Did you see the A1 card base that is in the card kit? That's all I'm going to say. It is so freakishly adorable, I can't stand it. Oh my gosh, I cannot stand it. And I'm so bummed because Ken took all the samples to the, um, to the store and I don't have any of the samples. But look at our little A1 reindeer fold it. Oh my gosh, you guys. So he can be Rudolph or he doesn't have to be Rudolph. He's an A1, also perfect for beautiful tags. Um, let me just tell you this little reindeer because it matches the reindeer on the sweater um, option. It's a little tiny stamp to match the sweater. And let me just tell you, I'm in love with this little guy. I am in love with this little guy. Um, oh, Ponzi says, I have two friends who purchased the complete set of mini ink pads and totally Tiffany eight drawer bag, all because I shared my ink pads and they love the quality. Thank you, Ponzi. Thank you for sharing our company. I appreciate that. That means a lot. 
You have no idea how much that means. So thank you. Um, oh, Diane says she's going to make a garland. Please share it. Please, please, please share it. I want to see it. I want to see it. Um, I Christine says, I love the card base. He is adorable. Thanks for him. Okay, let me just tell you. I love him. Shirley says, so cute. I want more A1 fold it. Me too. And oh, Deborah says she loves the tag idea. Stephanie says, will it be available for single purchase? Someday, not this year. Um, probably next year if we have any left because we have to do all the card kits. Last month in September, by the way, we sold out of the card kits. So if you're not in the card kit club, now is your chance to join and get this one for sure if you join the card kit um, club because um, that way you'll get it for sure this year because you won't be able to get it if you're not in the card kit this year. Um, but yeah, I know. I love the A1 Foldits too. They're just so, I don't know. They're, I, it's just such a sweet size. It's such a sweet size. And perfectly, um, oh, it's Nancy visiting her daughter, Kelly. Okay, Nancy, I got confused. Okay, there you go, my love. Nancy, how's Tim, my love? Haven't I haven't heard from you in a while. Um, Ken just asked me the other day how um, Tim was doing. Um, let's see. <laughs> Surely I love that. Uh, so, yeah, the tag idea. Let me tell you, you guys, I'm loving the, the idea of all of this. Um, this guy is so cute. I want to do him for Thursday's Crafting Corner, but Thursday's Crafting Corner, I have not announced this yet, is going to be a live release because it's also the 19th. So it's going to be the normal 20th release, but I'm going to be doing it live on that Thursday because that's the night it would be released. So I'm going to just be doing, it's not a special release. It's just a live release. So I'll be showing off the new products that night. I already have my card kind of planned in my head, but I'm like sad. I want to, I really want to use this one. So I might have to sneak him in somehow, maybe the next week. I don't know, but I love them. Um, is the new Flip It like the old Royal Flip It? No, this new Flip It is brand spanking new. It is a different shape. This is a brand new shape to the Stamps of Life. I'm trying to find one. Good question, though. Thank you for asking. This is a new shape to the Stamps of Life. Um, took me forever to design it because I was so picky on what I wanted it to look like. So there's the new shape, the white piece. That's a brand new shape to the Stamps of Life. I spent so much time trying to figure out how I wanted it to look, and I, I'm in love with it. And yes, new words will eventually be coming out that say different things for here. So, uh, because that you guys, keep in mind, this is not just a Christmas, I mean, all of these happen to be Christmas samples, but it's not a Christmas, it can be anything, it can be anything. Michelle says, love the new shape, yay, yay. Shirley says, so my doctor has me going back to work um, night before class. Uh-oh, surely you need to, you need, yeah, you need to stay in bed. Uh, Rhoda says, just ordered more paper and the Mary Flip It die. Yay, you're going to love it. Will you make topper dies? Olivia, I don't know what a topper die is. Explain. Help me understand. Um, Deborah says, will our Fold It Club coordinate with the other clubs this month? Well, this one does. The, um, Oh, well, the fold it club. I'm sorry, I get so confused. Well, the fold it club. Uh, well, the llama just came out technically for October. Um, not usually, hang on, I'm, I'm just going to go to the website. Not necessarily usually, but we kind of are doing things where it's like, oh, it's kind of, whoops, hang on, I lost my YouTube tab. Um, it's, it's, it's not the same. It's not, it, it just, that one really happened to kind of fall in our laps. I was like, I, I told Dina, I'm like, I love this little reindeer stamp. And she's like, we should make it a fold it. And I'm like, ah, yes, you're right. So, um, yeah. Um, no, it is not the same as the Royal Flip at Annette. This is a brand new one. And you guys, by the way, uh, hello, did you know, hang on, I got to go to our website really quick. Did you know if you are a gold member on Flash Sale, hang on, I got to go to the website now. If you're a gold member, this die set is only on Flash Sale for, for gold, $15.99. If you're a club member, it's $16.99 for an A2 card base. A2 card base, $16.99 if you're a club member, $15.99 if you're a gold member. 
That's like insane. I actually did the math in my head. I'm like, wait a minute. Am I losing money on that? <laughs> I think I'm making like a dollar or two, but that's okay. That's okay. Um, uh, Darlene said she just ordered. Oh my gosh. I'm telling you guys. And especially when it comes out with the other, when we come out with the separate word dies, you're going to love it even more. Um, but it's on flash sale for one more hour because I forgot to turn it off this morning. Oh, well. And uh, I always want you guys to get the flash sale. You know what I mean? I, I always want to leave it on as long as I possibly can. Uh, so, yeah, check that one out. Uh, let's see. Hi, Dina. Hello, different Dina. Not my Dina, but a different Dina. Um, Ponzi says, I like the idea with the extra panel. I uh, love the extra panel. Yes, you can do the hidden panel with this. With all, almost all of the flip -its, you can do the hidden panel. Pauline says, I just ordered since it's not like the royal card. Good job, uh, Pauline. And you got it at that flash sale price. I know. that You guys, that flash sale price is crazy. Uh, so, yeah. Um, really quick, let me think if there was anything else. Um, Dina says, I need to try doing a hidden panel. Yes, my love. I have a video on it. Go to our video section and search hidden panel, or maybe even the word hidden. And the video, there's quite a few of the videos up now. I mean, they're out there. And let me just tell you, number one, it's really easy to do. Um, I kind of like go really slow when I explain it the first time, just because people try to over, they try to make it complicated. And you guys know me well enough to know I don't do complicated. Uh, I don't. And so once I show you how to do it, then you're like, all I have to do is blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, yeah, exactly. You're right. It's just, I have to explain it really well. So you understand how freakishly easy it is. That's how it is. Um, uh, uh, but you didn't show the other way that it can be done. Um, Sherry says, I already have that one cause you took the class, but I love it. Um, I, it, Sherry, the other way is the hidden panel way, and I didn't show it on that video, but there are other videos showing it. Yeah, the hidden panel is awesome. Um, Bonnie says, I never remember the hidden panel before I cut the card out. Bonnie, me either. <laughs> Half the time I forget to. <laughs> and I go, wait, I was supposed to make this hidden panel. So then I have to do it again, but yeah. Uh, Paula says, I love the new release, got it all, and now I'm patiently waiting. Yay! Pamela says she does want the uh, reindeer head in A2 also. I know. Isn't he cute? Um, do you have a small wishing die set? Ooh, I have no idea. Um, so go to our website and search wishing. Um, Sherry says the, oh, with the window maybe? Maybe you mean the window. Yeah, I meant to show that card just to show it, but I can't find it. I don't know what happened to it. Um, Kathy says, I need to see the hidden panel again. It's the only reason I haven't really enjoyed these cards. No, not enough room to write. Oh, my gosh. They, um, so, yeah, Kathy, go to the um, video section of the website. Make sure you're in the videos. Click on the videos up above. And then it has a search there and search hidden. Just search the word hidden. It should pop up. Uh, and it is really, really easy to do. Really easy. I take a long time usually explaining it but I promise you it's easy to do. Once you figure out the whole gist of it, it's like so easy. Like I taught it um, not that long ago and they had written instructions and then I never follow written instructions, even though I help write them. I don't, I, I just, I just fly by the seat of my pants. That's the way I work. Um, it, it's just, trust me, it's easy, easy, easy. easy. Um, I think the bag topper she was talking about it, to put on the top of treat bags. Oh, okay. Yeah, you know what? You could totally use this as a treat topper, this die, a uh, treat topper. Will the paper pad for the snowman come back? It will not. But I have been thinking a little bit about doing digital downloads because um, we've been adding more to our digital section. I don't know if you guys noticed that. We've been adding more to our digital section. Um, when a stamp set is retired, uh, we've been adding to our digital section. And so I'm thinking about when paper pads are retired, once they're gone for the digital part, I think I'm going to be adding those to the website. So that would be good, right? Because then you could just print it as many times as you want. Um, Dina says, I can't believe Thanksgiving and Black Friday specials are coming soon. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Um, Sherry says, I guess I'll have to figure out how to put it in the gallery, huh? Yes. Put it in the gallery and it is the gallery should be easier now to use. So it should once you're logged in, um, they made it so it's a little easier to do it. So try it, try it, try it. 
Uh, so love the digital section, digital section, yay. Um, Corinna says, I just saw your about section. It's amazing with talk of the town, et cetera. Yay, good. Um, uh, when your stamps are retired, will you replace them with digital? Annette, some of them we've slowly started to do. It just takes a lot of time. And literally, we make practically no money on them. So it just, um, it takes a lot of time. So slowly, but surely, uh, surely, <laughs> not you, surely, but surely, um, we are trying to do that. Yes. Uh, Debbie says, question, how does digital paper work? Does it print to look just like the paper we get from you? Um, yes, it would look just like the paper you get from us. But the quality of the paper is what is important. So you'll want to make sure. Sometimes I print on, on cardstock or powder sugar cardstock. Sometimes I print on very thick paper. And you can do that also. Um, let's see. Uh, love the digital images, digital images. Um, oh, thank you, Sandy. Uh, so let's see. I'm trying to think if there was anything else I wanted to discuss. So Thursday, live release. It's not a special release. It is the normal release for the 20th. But since it's coming out at the exact same time as my Crafting Corner, I'll be doing it live. Uh, awesome, Annette. I love that. Um, hi, Yellow Roses. Thank you. She said sending hugs. Thank you, my love. Thank you. Uh, okay. I'm trying to think if there, I have a meeting at 11, so I kind of have to go. Um, let's see. Ooh, Pamela got... A card order from her boss. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Good job. Good job. Will there be any more my Bible verses for the creative decks? Um, if you have any ideas that you'd really like to see, let um, Failing know, but I don't have any done right now. Debbie says, and we can print it as many times as we want. Yes, Debbie, you can. Yes, you can. Uh, yes. Yeah, so Corinna has a meeting too. So she has to go too. So yeah, I need to head out. I have a meeting at 11, but, uh, hi Sharon, come go. You got to go watch the, uh, you definitely have to go watch the, um, the hello. I was talking about these, this one and the other one. I already moved the other one to a different spot. Oh, I think I put it on, on Ken. Oh no, here it is. I talked about these, Sharon, so you have to go watch the original. You have to go watch back. So, my friends, I need, hi, Janine. You're going to watch the replay, too. Yay. Uh, yes, color printer, you guys. And I still highly recommend my Epson EcoTank. You can go look at it on my Stephanie's Favorites and just go look at it and watch, um, read about it. Amazon usually has a pretty good price. Uh, still have not refilled. I think I refilled my black. In over a year and a half, I've still not refilled my colors. I bought the refills thinking I was going to need the colors because I print in color all the time. Still have not refilled them. It's amazing that eco tank. So my friends, I got to get out of here. Have a great day. Um, thank you all so much for your prayers. I, I told Ken, it's like, I feel them. I feel them. So thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I'm doing much better. You know, every once in a while I have a little, uh, but I'm doing much better. You guys all know the deal, how it is. So, but Thursday, Crafting Corner, live release. Have a, yeah, Sandy says the eco tanks are awesome. They are. They're amazing. But thank you so much. Thank you for your love, your support, and your prayers. They mean so much to us. We appreciate you guys so much. And I appreciate my Mondays because they always get me going. They always really get me going. So I just want to say thank you. And have a great week. I will see you Thursday. And don't forget, you have one more hour on the flip -its on the flash sale because one more hour and it's regular price. Okay. Take care. I love you all. Bye-bye. Then she's got to go find all the buttons, find all the buttons, find all the buttons.